Hey, welcome to the first ever daily vlog. What I have here is I have this test script which runs unit tests with jest and then it pushes the test coverage to the service called coveralls. You might have heard of coveralls or you might have a similar setup where you do two things one after the other. So when I run this, you'll soon see what the problem is. Jest runs pretty fast and then I get this warning that key is not found for coveralls. So the thing is, I'm not supposed to run this on my local, I'm only supposed to run this in the CI environment like Travis or Circle CI. Um, of course I can do something like this, I can create another script which is test CI which runs all of this and only run unit on my local, but I'm not a fan of modifying the default scripts. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to write a check over here. So the first thing like that you can do is install this package called check env and save it as a dev dependency. What check env lets you do is check for a variable in the environment. If it exists, then run a script. If it doesn't, run a different script. Over here, what we want to do is say check env and if the ci variable exists in the environment, then run this script. Otherwise, exit silently. So this is the this is the format. You say check env the variable. You say and the true condition command, and or the false condition command. All right. Another thing you can do to improve this is you don't actually need to do this much scripting. There's an npm feature which is like less popular feature, uh, which lets you do something like this. So you can actually see unit and post unit. You might have seen post install scripts. Uh, the fun part is that npm lets you define a pre and post grip for basically anything you want. So I'm going to do this and then I can delete this second command because it's going to run automatically. Now when I do npm t, you'll notice that jest runs nicely and then it skipped the second part. I don't get any warning because this variable does not exist, which is perfect. Uh, we can also test this the other way around. Does it even run when CI is true? So I'm going to just artificially set CI true and then run my test and you'll see it works. Yep, I get the same one. Perfect. Now to take this to the next level, right? Maybe you don't want to run this on every branch. Maybe you only want to run this in the CI build where your branch is master. How can you do that? So check ENV unfortunately only lets you compare Boolean values, but there is another package called if ENV and you can save that as a dev dependency and what if env lets you do is actually make a comparison statement so over here i can replace with if env uh, i'm using travis ci so that exposes this variable called travis branch and i'm going to say if travis branch is master then run this command otherwise ex just exit silently and because it's a post unit it always will run after unit so this is how you can improve your scripts and create a better experience for yourself. Okay, so if this is the first video you're watching, I'm doing these every day. Uh, I'm gonna publish one tiny video every day teaching you something that I have learned today. So you might want to subscribe. See you tomorrow. Cheers.